Okay, everybody, I want to give you a quick overview of this International 300 utility tractor that I'm converting to electric just as it is right now. Um, I have a relatively small motor connected to the original transmission. That's maybe a 20 horsepower peak electric motor, but it is not real high torque, unfortunately. Uh, that is running off of a small 48 volt battery pack with a Meanwell um, LED power supply uh, as a charger for it. Um, and then I've got a main fuse, uh, a contactor that then sends power to uh, this Robotech brand brushless DC motor controller. Uh, and then just for right now for a throttle, I've actually got kind of a little thumb joystick kind of a setup right here, um, just as kind of a quick and easy throttle. Um, the original throttle on the tractor was this lever here, and that connects down to a rod underneath here. So I think eventually I want to connect that up to a potentiometer and keep the mechanical uh, original aspect of the, the throttle the same. Um, on the side here, I have a 12 volt hydraulic pump. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little noisy. Um, I've got that running off of a, a pretty good sized 12 volt battery here. Um, that's going connecting to um, a contactor that, that then connects power to down here. These two hoses go up to where the original connection was for the hydraulics. And I just got a switch set up on the dashboard here. So this turns the hydraulics on and off. It's a little loud though. So like if there was a loader on here, for example, these would operate the loader. On the back, uh, the three point, this is the control lever for that, raises and lowers that. And then the other thing too is that this has power steering. There's actually a power steering unit in here. It's very hard to turn the wheel uh, without the hydraulic pump, but with it running, uh, it's actually very easy to. Um, and then in this little box right here, I've just got a temporary fuse box and some things like that. Um, so the whole idea here is just kind of test things out, see how it works, and kind of learn and make adjustments as we go from there. Um, but kind of big picture, um, basically the lower area will be for the motor. And I might still put a different motor in there, maybe a forklift motor or a Nissan Leaf electric motor. And then the space above that uh, will be for the batteries and motor controller and things like that. And then what I'd like to do is reinstall all the original sheet metal. So right now we got, you know, just the nose with the radiator and the little top piece. But then the side sheet metal comes down about this much and should cover all the batteries and everything. So it should actually look pretty stock. Um, but now what I could do is actually uh, take it for a little test. So here I go, um, just testing out the tractor. The very first thing with um, having that hydraulic pump turned on, the steering is so much easier. The power steering works really, really well. Um, you know, one hand, turn it very easy. Uh, having a spinner on the steering wheel might be kind of nice uh, to, to make all the turning. Um, but the other thing I did do was I also tested the steering without uh, the pump running and when you're zipping along pretty nicely you can steer without the power steering going um, it's it's harder and the steering wheel kind of springs back a little bit more but you certainly can do it and with how loud this hydraulic pump is I actually did uh, do some testing uh, of the steering without the pump running but here you can see just back and forth um, actually a really good turning radius uh, I could make pretty tight turns on the tractor Uh, just backing up from uh, where I was parked. Um, I do have a little bit of a hydraulic fluid leak. You'll notice that uh, absorbent pad on the driveway. Not quite sure where that uh, little bit of a drip is coming from, but I'll have to hunt that down eventually. Uh, you also saw a little bit of an edit right there. Uh, shifting without the clutch is not easy if the tractor is kind of uh, trying to run downhill when it's in gear. Uh, here you'll look, I put a drawbar on the back of the tractor 
And the reason why is I wanted to do something, some actual work with the tractor. Um, I have a teardrop trailer in the backyard that's about 800 pounds empty. So I thought I'd see about just hitching that up and uh, taking it for a tow around. Uh, so the the drawbar that I have on the back of the tractor is not quite the correct thing for this, but it's what I had handy. Uh, so right now, just backing up to the trailer. And as mentioned, this is uh, not quite the right setup, but for a small trailer I thought it would work uh, just fine. Uh, the other thing is right here does demonstrate the power of hydraulics, you know, up, down, grab something, off you go. And that's pretty cool. Um, you know, the nose of this trailer is actually pretty tough for me to lift, but with hydraulics, real easy. I did some test towing, uh, did a couple of laps in the backyard, and then uh, ended up putting the tractor away for the day. Overall, it worked pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this point of the tractor. It's really working as sort of a, a proof of concept. So now from here, I can uh, keep working on it. I've got a battery on order, so I'll put a larger battery in there. And the motor's a little uh, uh, underpowered, but it was pretty easy to install. And you'll see all that work in future videos. Check us out at 300mpg.org. Support us over on Patreon. And until next time, stay charged up.